Scorpio, this January, you could be having some very serious conversations and perhaps even coming into new or deeper commitments as a result of really just going there with people. And while this energy can be very intense, it actually feels very exciting and dynamic to me. Before we get too far into your reading, make sure you hit like, subscribe, and the bell notification so you can always stay up to date with what's in the cards and stars for you. For those of you who are ready for a more personal, in-depth look into 2023, you can actually get 30% off any astrology reading on my website using the code in the stars through January 14th. You can find all of my links in the description box down below, including my services, astrology blog, and social media accounts. So some of the reason I'm saying there's a lot of emphasis on conversation for you this month, we have a lot of planets in the sign of Capricorn. We are very much in the heart of Capricorn season. We have the Sun, Venus, uh, Mercury, all in the sign of Capricorn, joined with Pluto, which is your co-ruler. We actually do have Venus and Pluto coming together right on the 1st of January, and this could be a very serious sort of energy, especially with love and relationships. We do actually have the Two of Cups here. This was the first card that came out, interestingly, as a past influence. Now, we do have a lot of retrograde planets. We have Mars, and Venus, or I'm sorry, Mars and Mercury that are retrograde. Mars is your other ruling planet, and that is in the sign of Gemini, which pertains to sexuality, secrets, and again, just that energy that's very gritty and like getting to the heart of something, going there, feels really, really important. Um, and with Mercury retrograde in the sign of Capricorn, there's sometimes this belief with Mercury retrograde where it can bring people back from the past. Now, obviously with astrology, everything has a very personal influence as well as a general collective influence. But for you, I really do get the sense like you might actually be reconnecting with an ex or someone from the past. Um, I see that particularly with Mercury being retrograde in your house of communication or in this part of your chart that rules over communication. Um, and I, I feel like there's been something that you haven't been communicating with the Two of Swords, or someone hasn't been communicating with you. And as crazy it is, as it is, it might even be like the very beginning of this month. You could be having a very real conversation with someone. Um, and if this isn't from the past, it's almost like a conversation that has needed to happen, something that you may have delayed, especially with Mars retrograde in the sign of Gemini. You might have been holding back secrets or someone might have been holding back secrets. And it's like it's getting to a boiling point now. Mars will actually be going direct on the 12th. So maybe there is something that you are addressing during this time. Um, but I, I feel like this is the month you are having the talk. You are saying the thing you need to say in order to move forward and to move on, um, or, or maybe even to reconcile or come closer together. There are much needed conversations that are happening this month. We also have the Two of Wands. Now, if you've noticed, you have the Two of Cups, Two of Swords, Two of Wands. We have two, two, two. And for me, of all the repeating number sequences, this speaks of soul connections, the things we call soulmates or spiritual connections. Um, but really, this is all about unity. This is all about balance. This is all about harmony. And so while I do get a predominant romantic vibe from this spread and from this read, this could very well just be like you having very intimate conversations with people, um, having heart-to-heart -heart conversations with those two number sequences. And pay attention if you see 222 a lot, because that could be a number that is coming up for you. And I think it's very much about balance and making decisions and choosing to be vulnerable and be open. Um, I, I really do get the sense, too, like you having this conversation could literally open doors And it could open a whole new world of possibilities for you. And I think this is especially the case when we have your co-ruler Mars go direct in Gemini. I, I think that is a time where you're going to have a really big conversation with judgment. And it's like, you're going to be airing out a lot of grievances, maybe. And like... I think there is actually a really romantic energy for a lot of you, and it's almost like this whirlwind romance. Things could be happening very, very quickly. And even though we don't have a lot of activation in your seventh house right now, 
we will be feeling that by the end of the month. And the seventh house is Taurus energy for you. This is relationships and maybe even unexpected commitments. And, you know, I could even also see things like you moving in together with someone as we are getting into Aquarius season or you talking about domesticity with someone, um, having a life partner or just moving in with someone, living with someone or even a conversation with a roommate. That's also something that could very well come up this month, too. Um, but I, I just feel like there's very big implications in your interpersonal dynamics this month. And I, I think there are some big shifts uh, with relationships. And again, like things could be happening very, very quickly. And I think it's actually important that you trust in this with the elephant. Um, and I'm looking at this elephant in particular with kind of the broken tusk. Maybe there are some hurtful or painful things that need to be talked about, but I feel like with the vulture, you are airing out grievances. You are letting go of what needs to be let go of, and you're actually finding life and sustenance in endings or in things that have been festering from, for some time. You're finding a way to repurpose things or to um, kind of integrate or digest heavy emotions and maybe even letting go of past issues. And we do have the emperor in the future as well. And this is a very stable, maybe even committed energy for some of you. Um, this is just really, really beautiful. And I, I feel like you are establishing a very strong foundation right out the gate. And for a lot of you, um, I, I really do see this in relationships, but I also see this in home and where you are creating roots for yourself and really looking at this tree. I feel like you are very strongly rooted coming into this year. And I think this is a good thing to do with the Aquarius new moon on the 21st, especially is to really lay roots and to be very committed and with Venus and Saturn also coming together in the sign of Aquarius just one day after on the 22nd, uh, which is, again, the same day that Uranus is going direct. There's unexpected things that are happening in relationships or with commitments. Um, you are also making a very serious commitment regarding home or family. And I really could see this as you moving in with someone. There could even be like a marriage proposal for some of you, actually. Um, and it feels like a very solid and steady relationship. And it's like you're kind of working out the kinks this month. You are figuring out what works or what doesn't work. Maybe for some of you, you know, this is a general reading. Maybe you are letting go of a relationship so you can make space for more aligned partnerships. You can find that connection that really works for you. But I actually do feel like for the collective, there's a very sudden connection. Something that has been kind of a whirlwind romance is really coming ahead. And I, I get this beautiful energy here. And I, I feel like overall, it, even if there isn't romance or a relationship that is coming ahead this month, there are life-changing conversations and ideas that are really coming ahead, especially with Mercury going direct on the 18th. Um, this is also when Sun comes together with Pluto, also in the sign of Capricorn. And again, Capricorn energy is your mind, it's communication. And so you are really crystallizing things. Things are becoming very, very clear. And I see this with judgment. Whatever it is that you've been trying to avoid or whatever it is that you've been afraid of saying or doing, I think you are actually being very free and liberated by expressing yourself, by just going there. So. Don't be afraid of these conversations, especially with the elephant and vulture. Vulture can kind of be a scary energy, but it's also very essential because it helps maintain balance. It helps us find new life and sustenance, even when there is heavy or dense energies. And I really feel like there is just this very strong momentum for moving forward, especially in the second half of February or of, um, of January, but probably into February too being honest. And really, uh, really, Scorpio, I don't know why I keep mixing up the names. I guess I'm feeling this Mercury retrograde and keep that in mind. You may be stumbling over words, but I actually don't want you to be afraid to have these conversations just because Mercury is retrograde. It's true that it can be very hard to get our points across. Sometimes there's misinformation or miscommunications that happen, but I almost see this on the other hand as like, you are having the conversations that you have needed to have for a while. You are expressing your boundaries, you're expressing your heart's desires, 
And that is actually very in line with Mercury retrograde, because very often people say, like, don't make a serious decision, don't commit during Mercury retrogrades. I have slightly a different take on this. It's like, if you have something break down or something that just organically comes up during a Mercury retrograde, that is you tying up the loose ends. That's really what Mercury retrograde is about. It's not necessarily about new energy. It's about resolution and um, just tying up the loose ends so you can move forward or improving things um, that are maybe a little in disrepair or need to have some sort of attention brought to them. So like if you have something that breaks down, don't be afraid to replace it. That's actually very much what Mercury Retrograde is about. If you need to have a conversation with someone and it's just like, now is the time, by all means have this conversation because I actually think it will lead to very beautiful and aligned relationships for you. Anyways, Scorpio, now those are all the messages I have for you. I'm wishing you a very happy and blessed January and beginning of this new year. Very, very exciting energy. You're also welcome to check out the videos for your moon or rising sign. And again, all of my links are in the description box down below if you're looking for any services or you want to follow the astrology blog or my other social media accounts. All of that information is down below. Take care.